one body to another body, another body, another body. They are like this. He is thinking, how I can change my brother? Like that he is thinking. His brother is more richer than uh, this uh, Ramchandra, rich person. He has a very beautiful garden, every day offering Kali so many kinds of, you know, flowers. So once uh, Ramchandra seen his garden, one beautiful lotus flower is saying such a beautiful lotus flower. He is offering that in his mind to Lord Krishna. So every day, uh, this uh, Govinda Das, his brother, he is going on the boat, in the boat, the pond, and taking out this lotus flower, offering to Kali. That day he taken exactly that flower which in mind he offered, no? He is taken and offered to Kali. And Kali in his own hand, the deity, in his own hand taking that and smelling. And he becomes surprised, what is happening? Every day I am offering, you know, so many things, Kali not taken, what happened today? Then he is surprised, and asking Kali, what happened every day I was doing so much offering? You not seen, shown your form, what happened to you? are doing like this, and see Kali is saying, today you give some fortune to me, that I got the prasad of Krishna. Oh. <laughs> Kali is actually Vaishnavi, right? Then still he not meant changed yet, this, you know, Govindu Das. Then after a few days, uh, by Lord's arrangement only it happens, he becomes diseased. Some, like that time some Ayurvedic Vaidyas, they come and they seen, he will die in few days, he given. Vaidya told he will die in few days. So that time, this Govinda is thinking that uh, my brother was telling I should meet his Guru. But I was not listening to him. So I should meet, before I die, I should meet. Then he told to Ramchandra that I want to meet your Guru. Please, kindly can you make some arrangement? Then he become very happy. Oh, my brother wants to meet. He wants, maybe he has some scope to change, right? Vaishnavas are like that, right? He wants to do good to others, always. So, he went to run to Srinivas Acharya. He's such a great Acharya, but his life is very simple. He's not, you know, maintaining sometimes. Uh, you see, you know, so many people, they are so great and grand, things they do. But he was very simple Acharya, even though such a great personality. His life is very simple. He is just holding one small bag and one stick, he came to his house. Then what happened? This, this man, whose name, uh, who is the Kali devotee, he washed the feet of uh, Srinivas Acharya, taken that water and served him. And Srinivas was very happy with his dealings. And then some miracle way, his body cured. Then he changed his mind. And he becomes such a great devotee, Jiva Goswami is one of the six Goswamis. He seen his poems. One of these poems is Bhaja Hure Mana Sinanda Nandana Abhay Charanarada. So he said, you are a Kaviraj. <coughs> Your writing I can see, you are a Kaviraj. Kaviraj title at the time is not ordinary title, everybody don't know. So this Gobinda Das become a great devotee of Krishna who was Kali devotee. Actually, how he become Kali devotee? Because, oh see, these clouds are coming here, oh, close to us. <laughs> you can see that? <laughs> they also wants to join me something. <laughs> they want to listen the story. <laughs> so, this, uh, you know, Kalidas, his birth was not happening. So his grandfather did some Abhishek of Kali and given. That's why from birth he was Kali devotee. But later on, he changed. Even in Bhagavatam, you find Jada Bharat. Yes. On his name, Bharat Bhumi, uh -huh. Jada Bharat, uh, they wanted to slaughter him. These dockets, uh -huh. Jada Bharat, they want to slaughter before the Kali. And these dockets, uh, when attempted it, Kali's deity broken. And Kali manifested and slaughtered all these dockets. Even though they are devotees of Kali. Mm -hmm. Because Kali is a Vaishnavi, she is servant of Vishnu. So if uh, uh, we try to become, you know, humble, those who are humble, those who are, you know, good listeners, they will be advancing. Those who are servitors. Only through service, great things can be achieved. Those are all uh, uh, ladies of uh, this Jagya Patnis. They are great Brahmanas. They are having so much learned in Shastras. But Krishna Balram came, but they are not offering. No, this is for Yagya or Vishnu. We cannot give it. Then Krishna is telling, I am hungry. Oh, what to do? Then he telling to his friend, did you ask to their wives? No, no, we not ask. Go and ask. You see what happens. <laughs> then when they went to wives, and they are telling, oh, take everything. 
whatever for your against take everything then his husbands are you know putting them in the jail but in jail their body remained their soul taken the uh, bhoga and offered to krishna you see this is the thing so one should have a uh, proper understanding of scripture is that vedasya uh, ahamebhyam vedya among all the vedic knowledge i am to be known you are knowing ayurveda you are knowing dhanurveda so many veda so much knowledge but you are not knowing the essence of the veda gita krishna is saying traigunyam visyam veda nistraigunna bhava arjuna veda means knowledge but vedanta means the conclusion of knowledge what is the conclusion i am keep, keep on giving knowledge knowledge so much knowledge but what is the conclusion of that knowledge uh, bhagavatam is the natural commentary of vedanta sutra and from there we get why <laughs> दिस प्लेस इज नेपाल इज अ स्पिरिचुअल प्लेस हियर मेनी सेंट्स ऑलवेज यू नो यूज टू कम गोपाल भट्ट गोस्वामी इज वन ऑफ द सिक्स गोस्वामी of our our sampradaya if you go to vrindavan there are six goswamis famous goswamis one of the goswami name is gopal bhatta goswami he came here nepal and he went to gandaki taking bath so at the time when he is taking bath there is uh, his uh, commandolu is there automatically saligram silas are coming then he is telling why they are coming they is throwing and again they are coming same saligram silas again is throwing again coming three four times happened like this and so maybe they wants to come with me so then he bring them to vrindavan from here and he was worshiping there in vrindavan but other acharyas other six goswamis they have their deities radha govind the deity rupa goswami i think you seen govind ji deity and there is uh, also madan mohan deity uh, in dwadash aditya tila sanatan goswami's deity and all uh, all this devotees they have deities they have you know like hand ears he can nicely decorate all the ornaments was saying this saligram i how can i you know decorate he was feeling sad gopal bhatta was saying this saligram how can i decorate them then in the morning he seen one saligram become radha raman no to please devotees lord does so many past times even sakhi gopal if you see uh, from vrindavan he came to give sakhi to south india to ब्राह्मण सर देर छोटा विप्र बड़ा विप्र सो एक्चुअली दो जो आर एडवांस सोल्स एडवांस यू नो डिवोटिस दे आर नॉट सींग यू नो द वट यू कैन से आउटर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द रियालिटी फॉर दैम डेटी एंड लॉर्ड आर नॉट डिफरेंट बट वी आर सींग यू नो बिकॉज ऑफ आवर मिसकनसेप्शन वी आर नॉट सींग लॉर्ड्स प्रेजेंस प्रहलाद महाराज कु सी लॉर्ड इज शार्पिंग हिज ने इन साइड द पिलर इज रेडी टू कम राइट But this Sirena Kosi will not be able to see. Ah, oh, he want to test whether he is there. But problem is seeing. He is already ready to come out. He <laughs> is thinking, oh, he is joking. He is thinking that he is joking. But he is not. He is saying seriously. But they are thinking they are joking. So like that, when he, you know, the devotees mood, ordinary persons cannot understand. Their life, ordinary persons cannot understand. Why a Arjuna is killing people? ordinary person cannot understand there is very devotion in this devotion means to give lamps to lord no to go to temple and give lamps to lord is devotion devotion how in the far killing is devotion but krishna is telling you kill russian people cannot understand russian people telling bhagavad gita is not a good you know scripture somebody is telling i don't want to kill and krishna is telling kill kill what, what kind of scripture is this is telling like that but actually nobody can stop killing jeeva jeevasya jeevanam to your survival you are killing so many things eating rice you know you are when you are smelling or you are taking air inside right doing pranayam the pranayam so many jeevas are killed already isn't it the jainas are putting mask but they are walking are walking so many already killed whole thing whole thing is living reality there is nothing you know you cannot say this is separate from lord actually separateness is maya maya is nothing but thinking something is separate than lord so ordinary thing or a shoe is a material thing but the shoe is offered to lord as a sandal that is your worshiping the shoe so matter means that which is not seen in connection with the lord so ordinary sense people see self and non self 
but if you advance and you can see how everything related to Lord, and everywhere uh, you will see some connection with the Lord. So this, you know, Himalaya, so many saints, they are coming and they are meditating for the peace. But we are not uh, hankering towards peace. Devotees, they even can uh, take a lot of anxiety for little satisfaction of the Lord. Isn't it? They can take a lot of anxiety. The Krishna is jumping inside Jomuna, they are so much anxious. What happened to Krishna? They are so much anxious, no? They are looking, no, 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 whatever happens and I am meditating on the, you know. <laughs> Mother is loving the child, whole day meditating on child, not serving, whole day meditating on the child. Is it love? Is there? There is no love. So that's why Krishna is saying, Aham na tishtami vaikunte yogi naam hrudaya na cha madhvakta jatra gayanti tatra tishtami nara. Saying straight forward. Aham na tishtami vaikunte, I am not in the vaikunta. Those who want to aspire for liberation, they are coming there. I am not there in vaikunta. Yogi naam hrudaya na cha, they are meditating on Paramatma. I am not there in their heart. Where my devotees are glorifying me, chanting my names, glorifying my glory, even science, even arts, even whatever, you know, way, if you can see the glories of the Lord, our Lord is so glorious. But what we are seeing is, I am so glorious. I am so great. My uh, existence is so great. Sometimes also, they see greatness of Lord and their greatness. Like Mirabai. See, I am so great, Lord is so great. Nothing else is there. You see all the songs of Mirabai, you will only find Krishna, 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 everywhere Krishna. But no mention of his world, his devotees, not mentioned. So, those who approach like that to Lord directly, they become yogis. Only God. If you see Paramatma, He is alone, not with the energy. So that type of thing you find alone. God is alone. Worshippers, they become yogis. But who worship Lord through His energy? Atapa bihita suraj nahi jani, radha bihita madhav nahi jani. You see sun without sun rays, what kind of sun is this? Same way, without energy, what is Krishna? Not complete. That's why all the Vaishnava Acharyas, even uh, Sri Vaishnavas, they worship not Arun Narayan, they worship Lakshmi Narayan. But yogis, they are only meditating on Paramatma. And jnanis, they are only doing Dhyana Brahma, the effulgence of the Lord. From the Lord's body, some effulgence is coming, that is Brahma. And Paramatma, who is the maintainer of this world, Kriyadaksa Vishnu, expands as maintainer, that is known as Paramatma. But if you go to spiritual plane, this Paramatma is not there. There Bhagavan is there. That's why Bhagavatam says, Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavaneti, Sabdate. So you have to go beyond Brahma, beyond Paramatma to Bhagavan. Bhagavan means he is with all his energies. Complete thing you see. But these are all partial aspects. Brahman, Paramatma, partial aspects. But from, from Bhagavan, everything comes. And that Bhagavan also, there are different gradations. It's not, you know, like uh, one, one type of thing. See, sometimes king, Somebody is seeing him as king, but somebody is seeing him as father also. Father don't, the sons are not seeing him as king. So, depending on our rasa, development of rasa with the Lord, we have different relations. The way Vaikuntha devotees relate, the way Ajudha devotees relate is completely different. The way Dwarka devotees relate, the way Ajudha devotees relate is different. And in Vrindavan also, there are varieties of devotees. So, our Vaishnava in you know, a tradition is, looks for variety not for monistic approach. Actually, Buddhism wants to remove everything to zero. That is also reduction. And then Mayavad or Monism, it wants to reduce everything to Brahman. But Vaishnava Acharya, they accept everything. These all things exist, but there is a source of all these things also. Simultaneously exist. You cannot say cell exists without DNA, RNA, everything. DNA, RNA also exists. Cell also exists. You cannot reduce it to, like scientists are trying, reduce to one, you know, molecule. Not possible. You have to assert both, part and whole, participant and the whole. So that is Vaishnava philosophy. So this is, this is simple way we try to explain. But there is further, you know, meaning and practicing this principle. You will find that uh, this world and that world looks the same thing. Only attitude is different. Vaikuntha is not like this world. Vaikuntha means everybody worshipping like king. But Vrindavan is very simple place like this place only. But Lord is the center. But here, I am the center. This is the difference. <laughs> so I think we should go. We should take right, some sir. Let's move. We should take some lunch and then we'll go to our